Welcome. I'd like to tell you about our crying adventure in October 2014 to Easter Island, Rapa Nui. It is one of the most remote inhabited islands in the world. Look at this. Only 11 miles by 7 miles long. Five and a half hours from Santiago, Chile. We arrived at night. We didn't expect the greetings we got, but there were the indigenous already. There they are putting a flower on my head. Ah, you see Kahuna Kalei from Hawaii? She was there to join us. We always start our Gaia conferences by hearing from the indigenous. This is Sebastian, a guide. This is Pau, a shaman. Of course, there's always a time where I talk and we kind of mix it up with the people and see what they think. And then we were also so privileged, once again, to have Calais there to open the ceremony. Oh, some people having fun. And now it's time to venture out. We took all of the daylight hours we could. It was an intense time. This is a field of the things that belong on top of the statues, the top knots. See the groove there? They actually fit on top of the heads. They're laying on the ground for many reasons. Some of them have fallen there. Some of them were put there during the wars and not put back. Aha! It's the Brazilians. They're always such a happy group. This were our first Moais. That's the name of the statue. Do you see the mound they are on? That is the Aku. These are seven Moai representing the seven venturers that came from Lemuria originally. They are the only Moai who face outward toward the ocean. What a privilege it was to have Kahuna Kalei. She did ceremony along with Pau, the indigenous shamanic leader of the Rapa Nui. It was profound, I think, for both of them. We're now on our way to a special underground cave, an ancient village where they'll prepare some food and we'll also find some Rapa Nui dancers. I'm going to ask you again. Voy a preguntarles nuevamente o les voy a pedir. Why have you come? Por qué has Indeed, I've channeled a lot of interesting places and this was probably one of the most interesting. We're on our way now to the quarry, very famous place. You'll see horses all around. They're not wild, they belong to people, but they kind of wander around and they're quite beautiful. This is the quarry, probably some of the most beautiful photos here and the ones you've seen the most. This is where the statues were carved. I call it the parking lot. You can climb all over this on the assigned paths and you can also get up pretty high. The Rapa Nui did not worship the Moai statues. Instead, they imbued the energy of their ancestors within them. And when they were mounted on the Aku, they were very sacred to them. And they still are today. Our group spent a lot of time here. We, we climbed the hills and took a look at the ocean, which is pretty easy to see <laughs> when you're in a small island. We climbed up the mountain and over into the crater of the quarry. There's a lake there now. It's a very serene and sacred area where we were. And we proceeded to sit down and, yes, once again channeling. I had the battery power and all the things that I needed. Kahuna Kalei again led us in ceremony. And take a look at this. This is Pau and Kahuna Kalei in a ceremony greeting. Again, I have channeled in lots of different places. This is one of the most sacred. It continues to amaze me 
where I'm taken. We're now on our way to one of the most famous group of Moai on the island. Here they are, 15 of them. There's over 800 on the island, and they all face inward, the ancestors looking over their family. Only seven of them face outward. Once again, we have Kahunikale and Pau together giving ceremony around the Moai. Here's a fun little dance and exercise, part of a ceremony that the Rapa Nui do. Our group had a great time here, a beautiful time here, and the weather was gorgeous. It's time to go to the ocean. It's not very far from the ocean anywhere you are on the island. We're going to put our toes in, try not to get wet. It's a special magnetic rock to see if we can feel any energy there. Whoops, watch your step there, you know, you don't fall in. Ah, time for the beach. There is a beautiful beach there, and we enjoyed it to the max. You can't see all of us, we're kind of little, but I, I zoomed in on one group. Yes, you can tell, they're light workers. They're just having way too much fun. Quickly, we're on the next day in the top of a volcano where we get to see the famous Birdman Rock, which kept the Rapa Nui out of war for a hundred years. Who are these? Oh, it's the Brazilians again. They really know how to have fun. Can you tell it was just a little chilly at the top of that volcano? We found our way to a very ancient and old site, where again we had ceremony. Jorge, our flautist, helped lead us in the ceremony, and of course, there I was again, channeling. It seems like we did so many profound things in such a short amount of time, and then it was time for the closing ceremony. Here I am again, kind of a follow-up Q&A, trying to see what the impressions were and what people thought of it. Of course, there was the channeling. There's always the channeling. I'd like you to meet our group. It came from all over the world. Who knows if any of them, or even I, will return to Easter Island. But what a time it was on this grand place, this mysterious place in the middle of the Pacific. But wait, there's more. Yay! Well, it appear the party's over for now. Thank you for watching this. This is Lee Carroll. Until another Cryon adventure.